watcher in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create your own Windows 7 bootable ISO or DVD okay now we're going to be using this file here which is a Windows uh, Microsoft uh, file so it's not any sort of malicious file uh, I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube saying use this Win7 uh, bootable BIF file uh, .bif, and uh, none of them work really this is the way to create your own images and backups of your Windows 7 disk. Now you may have already downloaded your files from the internet from Microsoft and you want to actually create your own ISOs or DVDs and this is the way to do it. So the first thing we need to do really is copy this into our System32 folder and uh, once we've got that, I've already got mine in there but I'll just do it just to show you okay and I'm going to copy and paste that in there you can delete it after you've finished okay we'll let you delete it so once that's in the next thing we need to do is get the files off of our DVD our Windows 7 DVD so I've got mine in here I've got a folder in here called WinDVD2 or you can call it whatever you like and uh, I'm just going to copy these files off of here so I'll hold the shift key down highlight all these right click and copy these into that folder just like that this will take some time once that's copied across we can continue with the tutorial okay so now you see the files there okay all the files are across next thing we need to do is go into command prompt so we can just type cmd in the run bar down the bottom it's important that we right click on this and run as administrator like so once we've got that open there is a command that you need to put in and this is the command you're going to need okay now this basically is using this program that we've put in from Microsoft and then it's going to go to asking to go to the Win7 DVD now if you've changed your folder name this is where your folder name will be you can make the folder name whatever you like but if you change the folder name you will need to change that inside there there's a folder called boot and there's another file called etfs boot.com that's the file it's wanting once it's done that it's going to put it back into win7 dvd and then create an iso file called win7.iso so once we've done that we just close this off right click and paste press enter and this will now start to create the iso file in our C root directory okay so as you can see that's nearly complete now and just to show you up the top here we've got the actual file name and it's the pre-mastering utility copyrighted to Microsoft so you can see it is a Microsoft product just in case you're thinking it's malicious now that is the uh, process finished with we can now close that off go into our C root directory and there we have our Win7 ISO right that's ready to boot or burn I should say now we could use a free program if you don't want to spend any money like CD Burner XP you can download this for free and this will burn ISO images very easily or you can use Nero or whatever you like I will show you quickly uh, CD Burner XP it's pretty straightforward what we'd need to do is open that up burn an ISO image click OK and then from there we need to browse our image basically which is in our C root directory and then you can come down here click on that and we're pretty much good to go really burn method I would advise you to turn this down a little bit if you wanted to but pretty much go burn and that will be that so that's how you burn it so let's have a look and see if it works it does work I just wanted to show you uh, I've got a, an ISO image here in the C root directory that I can use to show you so as you can see uh, we're going to be booting to this here Win7 ISO push start on our virtual box and this will just show you that it does actually work there you go it's as simple as that and that's basically that, let me just close that off 
and that's basically how you make your own ISO images or DVDs with Windows 7. Okay, this method does work as you can see. So my name is Brian from Brightech.co.uk. I hope you enjoy these videos. If you do enjoy the videos, please remember hit the subscribe button, guys, and also rate and favourite all my videos if you like them. If you'd like to come over to the forums uh, and help out over there, or maybe you've got a problem with your computer, then the link is down below, and I shall see you over there. Okay, thanks. Bye for now.